Hey guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Answer. Today I'm planting this gorgeous lilac. This is a bloomering dark purple reblooming lilac. I've got the perfect spot for it. In fact, you might recognize this area. This is kind of the front of our house. This is what you see when you drive in uh, the front of our driveway. And we just did a little mini makeover around an urn last fall and everything's doing really well in that garden. We'll update you on that later. But this is kind of a random spot. It's just this little pocket. I've got a big cypress here and a privet hedge here. Um, so I just have this one little spot and currently I've got a dogwood in there. I don't know if you can see that right back there. I don't know what variety it is. It was here when we bought the house and it doesn't have really pretty branches. There's really nothing special about the leaves. So I'm gonna remove it and I'm gonna put something in here that I'm gonna really enjoy. So this spot gets full sun, which this plant really likes. And this one gets about four to six feet tall and wide, which will fill this area in perfectly. And that's what I want it to do. So I'm just gonna dig my hole and get it planted. So this spot also housed this random heavy, super heavy rock. I think it's a rock. I mean, check it out. This is like super weird. It's got a point on one end but I think I'm just gonna put it somewhere else or get rid of it. I don't know, it just doesn't kind of make sense in this area. <laughs> All right, so this dogwood needs to come out first. Ooh, there's irrigation too. Couple of irrigation tubes. Oh, there's more drip tubing. Oh my, I'm discovering all kinds of irrigation stuff in this area. So I'm gonna be really careful when I'm digging my hole. And add a little bit of starter fertilizer to the hole. I always like to take the tags off and save them. I don't have a super great system right now. I just have a big baggie full of them, but it is handy if you wanna go back and remember any details about your plants to hang on to your tags. I'll take it out of the pot. And the root system looks really good, you guys. I don't think I need to do much for breaking up the root memory because it's not twisting around itself. It just looks super healthy. Put it in the hole. I think I actually dug my hole a little too deep. A little more soil. Oh, you guys, it smells so good. Okay, so before I pack soil in around the root ball, I'm gonna kind of stand back and make sure I like the way it's angled. I think the back of it's right on this side, which is kind of perfect because it backs up against the evergreens, but I'm gonna stand back just to double check. <gasps> Hi, Dexter. Hi, kitty, kitty. So there was a little piece of drip tubing that came over to this section, which was perfect. So I'm just gonna tuck it right in by the root ball. And now I'm gonna water it in. So I always like to water before I put my mulch down if I can remember to do it that way, because the water kind of settles the soil. And then you can see if there's any low spots, if you need to add any extra soil around the root ball. You just wanna make sure that that root ball is nice and covered with soil and packed in tightly and then I'm gonna add my layer of mulch. Then the mulch will help keep moisture in the soil as well as keep the roots cool during this first season. So what do you guys think? I think that this was a great plant for this spot. I think it's gonna fill it in just perfectly and I'm gonna be able to enjoy these blooms and that fragrance for a lot of the year. So like I said, it's a reblooming lilac. So it blooms in the spring and then it comes back midsummer and blooms through the fall. So not only do you get the lilac blooms and smell in the spring, you get them through a good part of the rest of the growing season, which is amazing. I'm so excited for that. If you do need to go in and, and prune and shape it up a little bit, the best time is to do it right after its first spring bloom. The only other thing about this plant is it does prefer a spot that's well draining. It does not like to be sitting in water. So other than that, this is a really easy keeper and it blooms for a lot of the year. And I just don't think you can ask for much more than that. So I hope you guys are enjoying these videos, these kind of shorter, just one plant type videos. I'm not used to doing these. I hope you like them because it's fun for me just to show you little projects that I'm doing around my garden, just to show off the plants and maybe and hopefully spark some inspiration in you to get outside and go do something in your own garden. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.